started to see pumas uh, sharing carcasses with other pumas. Sometimes we could see uh, up to eight or nine pumas sharing the same carcass. You find that pumas are not as competitive as they used to be. Now they, they are tolerating each other and they know each other. Some individuals uh, tolerate more than other individuals. A hundred of years ago, the pumas were, were being hunted all over Patagonia. Now in some places they are still being hunted. After the protection by law, uh, of the pumas, the population of the pumas here started to, to raise again. Now the park has a very healthy population of pumas. Actually, it's one of the healthiest populations we have here in Chile and probably one of the higher densities of pumas in the whole world. Last season we count over 25 caps only in a small area. That's a lot in a year. So multiplied every year or every year and a half. And also the guanacos are every time more and more so they will have more food. When the pumas kill the guanaco, they leave sometimes the carcass to other animals. So every kill the a puma makes, it serves as a food for foxes, for caracaras, for many other scavengers. It's very, very important for the whole ecosystem that the pumas are here and the population here is healthy. Are learning more things every day is a is a new page being written about the behavior about the ecology about the, the biology of the pumas and that's why this place is so important mm -hmm.